In this video, I'll be looking at some FIFA 13 hidden gems. Now, I'm getting these statistics from chuzz.com, and so they're not all 100% accurate and they can still change. However, if they do stay the same, I can see these players for going for lots of money in the game. But, you know, as soon as the game comes out, some people might not know of these players' statistics, so I would get them as soon as it comes out because I can see these players' prices rising significantly. Now the first player that I'm going to look at is Marlon King. He played for Hull on loan last season and so as long as he doesn't get loaned out again, he'll be a player for Manchester United in the new game. And with 90 pace, he can be a really great asset on any BPL silver teams. Eunice Kabul is a player who I can't wait to try out on FIFA 13. Now I tried him on FIFA 12 and he was really good. However, I think he was overlooked a little bit because he was a non-rare card. However, if he's a rare this time, he's going to be absolutely incredible. At the moment, he's the fastest centre-back in the Premier League. So if the stats do remain the same, I would pick him up as soon as the game comes out because I can see his price rising significantly when more people know how fast he really is. The next player I'm going to take a look at is Romelu Lukaku. He was just a god in FIFA 12, and so even though his stats aren't as good and he's now a silver card, if he does perform anything like he did last FIFA, he'll just be an incredible card to use in a silver team. Another BPL silver is a player who's gotten downgraded, Sean Wright Phillips, with 91 pace and 70 shooting. He just looks like an incredible player in FIFA 13. Now the final player who I'm going to be looking at is Sessegnon. 85 pace, 85 dribbling and 75 shooting aren't half bad. So I can see him being really popular in FIFA 13 because he sort of has all the stats you really need from a centre attacking mid. And so those were five players who I think might be good to buy at the beginning of Ultimate Team as soon as it comes out because they do have good stats and I can see them being really effective in the game. I'm not going to be bringing out my gold team video by the way guys, I'm sorry about that. It's just lots of the files got corrupted and I sort of just don't really want to edit it. I'm sort of bored of FIFA 12 now and so only FIFA 13 footage is going to be on my channel from now on. I'll drop a link in the description below of my final gold Ultimate Team though for those of you who are interested and once again I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Corey from Mario. Peace.